Is your washer clicking over and over again and not completing its cycles? It's probably due to a broken locking mechanism. This video will show you how to fix it. Well, this is the Maytag slash Kenmore slash uh, Whirlpool washer fix. If your washer doesn't run because it depends on the lock and your lock's broken, you can actually fix it without replacing the lock part. A lot of people just do this. I need this piece of tape. They just take the latch off and they shove it in the latch hole and then that usually fixes it but if your actual lock mechanism is broken then it's not going to work. So what you can do is you take off the two screws that are holding in the top section, tape down the lid, and you take off the backing plate too. There's just three screws on the back. You can watch other videos and figure that out. That's not what this video is for. but. We actually broke the plastic tabs off this, but you can just tape it back on there, it's not a big deal. And this is the part that you want to get at, and they tell you to replace it for $60, when there's just one little thing that you got to take out and fix. Plus the technician coming out. Yeah, plus the technician, who knows how much that's going to cost. But anyways, there's usually two plastic tabs here, and you probably got to prime back, and then you got to like lift up and out like that and it's open once you got this out uh, this is going to start to fall apart a little bit that's fine we're going to put it back together once we're done and you just need to get this case open because the part that's broken is underneath this case so in order to do that there's these tabs all around the outside and you're just gonna open these tabs with a screwdriver a little tiny flathead screwdriver Oh, all right, got it open. Yeah, you see, we dropped the spring and our towel caught it. It's a good idea to take a towel or something to cover up the top of the washing machine so you don't have to hunt for a half hour if you drop a little part. Okay, this little metal clip or tab, or whatever you want to call it, is actually the piece that is put into the, the locking mechanism perfectly and the part that broken. It's not necessary. Take it out. Take it out of your locking mechanism. The rest of the video is going to show you how to put everything back together. And um, the washer works just fine without the lock. Take this metal clip out. There's a little better shot of that metal part so you can see how big it is. Okay, this clip actually fits right here. Um, it lines up right there. And when this sliding mechanism slides forward, it pushes the clip underneath all the stuff and this plastic piece gets pushed down and the clip gets hooked behind it. Um, the rest of the video will show you how this plastic piece gets pushed down and how this all slides forward and how it all fits back together. As long as you can get this plastic piece in, which it only fits in one way, and these only fit in one way, if you can get them all to get it back together, put the case back on, and then you clip it back onto the top of the washer, and then put the latch in so it's always latched, your washer will work again, I guarantee it.
Well, this is the Maytag.